Good evening everybody and once again welcome back to the video. In this video I'll be teaching you how to use Apache Flink 1.15 with Apache Hoodie 0.13.1 on AWS, a hands-on guide. So in this uh, lab, we are going to create a Kinesis uh, data stream. We are going to publish some fake data into that. We're going to learn how to uh, you know, create a, a source and then we're going to create a sync, which is Apache Hoodie. And the job will be to read the data from source and insert it into the sync. So this example shows how to use Apache Hoodie 0.13.1 with Apache Flink uh, 1.15. So let's get started. So the first step is we need a Kinesis data stream. And let's see how to do that. So step one, create a Kinesis data stream. Uh, I have a simple function, create Kinesis stream and delete Kinesis stream. Uh, delete will be used again at the end of the, of the video to clean up the resources. So let's execute uh, this particular cell. And here you can see the Kinesis data stream has now been created. So if I come here, I refresh, I should be seeing a Kinesis stream called stock stream. Now, once the Kinesis stream is ready, let's publish some fake data so that we can play with. So I have a simple function which is going to generate some fake data into the Kinesis uh, data stream. So let me execute. As you can see, we are publishing some fake uh, data points into Kinesis data stream. Uh, you can verify by clicking on the Kinesis stream and then going to the data viewer and then selecting the shard zero and clicking on trim horizon, get records. And as you can see, we have some data to play with. Now, the next step is we need to jar file, which is uh, these jar file. Again, the links are in the uh, notebooks given again. So we would need Flink, uh, Flink S3 FS Hadoop version 1.5.0. And we would need um, Hoodie Flink 1.15 bundle 0.13.1 jar. So I wrote a simple function. What this will do is this will download the jar file from the Maven repository and it will upload it on the uh, upload it on the S3. In this case, it's going to upload uh, these jar files on a bucket called sample backup US West 1. Whatever your bucket name is, simply put your bucket name here, execute the cell. And after probably about 30 seconds, uh, you will see those jar files on S3. So let me wait for this to complete. As you can see, these uh, jar files are now uploaded on this S3 bucket. So if I probably go to the S3 bucket over here, which would be this one over here. And if I refresh here, you can see I have these two jar files. Hopefully uh, you guys can see now. Now the next step is we need to create a studio notebook so we can write some Flink code and play with it. So here is the step you can follow. So click on uh, go to manage Apache Flink over here and then click on create notebook. Over here click on uh, create custom notebook, uh, give it a name, demo app. Select the Apache uh, Flink version 1.15, click next. Uh, I already have one so I'll just put demo app one. Uh, select a glue database. In this case, I'm going to be using sample DB. Uh, select an IAM role and then leave everything else to default. Click next. Leave everything else to default. And the only thing that you got to do over here is head over to this section, which says custom uh, connector. Click on add and then put your S3 bucket. So I'm going to quickly put the name of the bucket and then click on choose. And then I just need to put uh, the name. So I'm going to select this first jar over here and do the same step with the next one. So I'll go here, add custom connector, select my bucket and then select this particular jar file. Click on save. Uh, once you're done, review all the settings. Click on next. At the end, I want you to click on create studio notebooks. Now, once your notebook uh, is created, you can click on run, which will again take about five to six minutes to uh, you know get started. Once uh, it shows started successfully, now you can click on this button, which says open in Apache Zeppelin. So I'm going to click here. And this will open up uh, Apache Zeppelin notebook. So come here, click on create. Let's type the name as Lorne. And the first command that we need to put is this particular command. So we got to set the execution checkpoint interval to 5000. So I'm going to insert this command over here. As you can see, making sure that ran properly. All right. Now, the next thing that we want to do is we're going to create a source, a Kinesis source. 
Here you can see I'm defining the schema connector as kinesis. This is the name of the stream. AWS region as US West 1. Uh, scan stream initial position. Trim is horizon. So it's going to read everything from the beginning. So I'm going to copy this. Put this one here. Uh, I already uh, cannot change the interpreter properties when, okay, yeah, okay, because I already did that. Uh, oh, yeah, I, I think here, all right, this one. All right, so we're going to say flink uh, dot SSQL type as update, and then we're going to execute this particular cell. So what this will do is uh, give me one second. Looks like we have a small typo. Uh, going to remove that and execute this. So this will create a table in the glue catalog, okay? called stock stream table. Uh, now we're gonna do similar with this one. So this is the sync. Uh, in this case, it's Apache Hodi. So we're gonna read from Kinesis and write into Apache Hodi, right? So I'm gonna come here, put this one here, remove this one. All right, so now uh, hopefully this will be created. As you can see, table, uh, table has been dropped and table has been created, okay? I also just wanted to show you the glue catalog. You will see these tables in the glue catalog as well. So if I quickly go to the database sample DB, here you can see these two tables have been created, right? So again, just wanted to show you. Uh, now it's pretty simple. Uh, we have a source, we have a sync. We need to read from the source and write it into the sync, which is Apache Kodi. So the way you would do that is pretty straightforward. You can copy this command and put it here. So hopefully you guys can see what we are doing is insert into, oops, it's a little bit more zoomed out. All right, insert into stock table hoodie, select UID, uh, actually gotta do UID. All right, so we're gonna select UID ticker price and event time from the stock stream table. So this is the, uh, the source, we are selecting these columns and we are inserting into our sync, okay? So just making sure everything is okay here. Yeah, this is the schema. This is the schema for the sync. And uh, yeah, that's look looks like, let's execute this. Now this will take about a minute or so. Uh, so uh, let me see my S3 quickly. Again, as you can see, I do not have a folder called TMP. Uh, and once after like 30, 40 seconds, uh, you will see a, a temp folder uh, being created. Again, now it's in the running state. If you want, uh, you can publish more uh, data points, but I guess it's more than enough if you are uh, simply learning. So I can publish some more data points, right? So now if I head over back to S3, I would see a TMP table. I see a dot hoodie folder. And here you can see we do have a Delta commit requested because I'm using the table type as MOR. And sure enough, we do see all the partition, Apple, Amazon, Intel, and inside that we have a hoodie metadata and the log file. So I hope this video will help you. I hope this guide will help beginners and anyone who's just gonna, who's, who's just trying to get started with Apache Flink 1.15 and Apache Hoodie 0.13.1. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you have enjoyed. If so, do give a like and all the resources uh, that uh, I, so all the resources including the notebook, right, would be there in the description section below. So make sure to check that out. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. Keep smiling, keep programming, and I'll see you in the next video.